Okay guys, so here's your settings video. There's three different ways to program this board. The first, and the way that I hope nobody ever has to do, because nobody should ever have to do this ever again, is programming through the trigger. This is the fail safe, your app doesn't work, your screen doesn't work, you still need to program your board triggering or through the register, through the trigger, like we used to do all the time, counting flashes. Okay, if you hold down the trigger on boot up, turn the power on, you will see a red, white, and blue flash, and it will stay on the boot screen. If you release the trigger, you're now in register one, which is green. And on the website in the coming days, I'm going to post all the, what all the registers are. Okay, if you click the trigger, you go to the next register. Click the trigger, go to the next register. Click the trigger, go to the next register. If you want to program that register, you trick click and hold and it will go off and it will blink so this register is set at 1 and I didn't program it fast enough so it went back so I'm gonna press and hold it's gonna tell me it's at 1 I wanna set it to 2 so it blinks back and confirms that it's at 2 okay and then you can just power cycle the board so I just changed that from 1 to 2 that one register I have no idea which one it was off the top of my head, but that's how you can do it. There's 40 registers on this board. You don't want to program through the trigger, but I don't want to abandon you if your screen dies or your Bluetooth module dies. I don't want these boards to be useless. So there's three different ways to program them. Okay. The second way, which I think will be the most common way for you to do it, is through the buttons on the back of the board. If you press the down button, and I'm just realizing now that I never installed that top button, but if you press the down button, it'll take you into the menu. Okay? These are collapsible menus, and you can scroll through. So I apologize that I'm going to have to use the little key here because I forgot to put my little button in. Once you get to the menu you want, for example, the fire settings, I'm going to click the trigger. That's the select. And it's going to expand that more. I'm going to press down to go and you don't need to use a key I just forgot to put the extra plastic button in okay there's fire mode I'm gonna select that menu and it says fire mode semi if you select on the values it's gonna scroll through auto ramp true semi back to semi so I'm gonna change it to auto okay I'm gonna press my button to go down to OK hit OK and it's gonna save that value okay and it's gonna take you to the next menu if you're done you just have to scroll through the menus and get to exit programming. When you select on exit programming, you can see we're in auto mode now. Okay? Everything's instantaneous the second you change the value. Okay? If I wanted to go back and change the fire mode again, I would hit the down button, go down to the fire mode, select, I'm going to change it to ramp, down, down to OK and we can go down through. There's 40 registers, so these are all in collapsible menus. Eye settings, marker settings, timers, your profiles, your system settings, and then exit programming. Okay, now I'm back in. Anytime you hit a menu button, it will take you into the menu. The other one that seems to be popular, I'm going to go down. Oh, I went past it. I'm going to go into my profiles, and that expands out that profiles menu. So I just wanted to scroll so you could see it. I'm going to select on the profiles and expands it out. If it's the bottom menu item, it might expand, so you just got to scroll down. I'm going to go to the splash logo. Select that. Right now we're on Enoch. We have uh, John, Raiden, Dr John Raymond, my partner at Enoch Paintball. His logo is uh, Dirty, Dirty Engineering, and uh, that's his logo. We have the Cobra logo, the Warped logo, Joy logo, Impact logo, Ripper logo, the Adrenaline Angel logo. That's the Flaming Skull. Uh, we have an Angel WDP logo. The Fly logo, the Angel Wings logo, the 
um, Angel Force logo, the East Coast Angel logo, the uh, MW, which I am failing and remembering what that stands for right now, and Method, um, Team Methods logo, and the uh, Angel Paintball Parts logo, and the Miami Rage logo. Those are your choices right now. So I'm going to go through those again because I want to say thank you to each of those organizations. So um, Dirty Engineering, obviously John Raymond uh, did all the hardware design, my partner in this project. Okay, Cobra, thanks to Chris at Cobra, I reached out to him and uh, he was uh, more than grateful to let us use his logo. Ed Porman at Warp Sports, Maximus at Joy. Okay, Mark Costa at Impact, Jim Eaton, James Eaton, the Ripper Milling uh, extraordinaire, all happy to let us use the logo. Um, the Adrenaline lo ro logo, James actually cleaned up the logo for me. Appreciate it. Thank you. The Angel logos got permission. Um, Jay Wonderly reached out to Frazier and got permission for us to use the Angel logos. Okay. Brad, obviously, at East Coast Angel. And I'm so sorry, I'm forgetting MW, but it's on there because he was real nice. Method Captain, obviously, we all know Bob. Uh, George at Angel Paintball Parts and the Miami Rage logo. So thanks to all for letting us choose their logos. So I'm going to pick one right now, and I'm going to do the... I want to do John Raymond's logo from Dirty Engineering. Because these boards wouldn't be possible with the amount of hardware work he put into these and all the testing and back and forth. So I'm going to choose the dirty logo. I'm going to go down, hit OK, and it's going to flash and show you what that logo is. So it's still going to boot the Enoch logo, and then it's going to boot your custom logo. So if I wanted to go into the splash logo and pick a different one, I could go choose the Cobra logo, down and OK, and there's your Cobra logo on boot. Okay. If you power cycle, you'll see that's the boot. Enoch Cobra up and running. That's half a second until you're ready to fire. Okay, I didn't want to make those boot logos too long because we don't want to be waiting on the field for a splash screen. Okay, so that's how you use the OLED menus. Next video will be how we use the, uh, the app for Android and iOS.